Hello, I'm Rupa Haria for Aviation Week. Two new competitors to the Airbus Boeing duopoly are here at the Farnborough Air Show this year. Aviation Week's Joe Anselmo was on board a media flight for the Boeing Bardier C series, and Jens Flottel takes a look at the Embraer E2. It's a pretty daunting challenge to take on the Airbus Boeing duopoly, and this is what the Challenger looks like. So in the run-up to this year's Farnborough Air Show, Bombardier took journalists, dignitaries, and suppliers on flights. The purpose of these flights is to show the world that this cute little airplane, as Airbus as John Leahy likes to call it, is a formidable competitor. Let's take a look inside with C-Series Program Manager, Rob Dewar. Welcome on the C-Series. Uh, we're doing a demo flight uh, out of uh, London today at Farnborough Airport. Uh, so kind of a special day for us. So I'll talk about a few features of the aircraft. So the C-Series, first thing you're going to notice when passengers work on, walk on board is actually the larger space they have in the cabin. So that's with the widest seats up to two inches wider, wider aisle, larger windows, 50% larger than uh, competing aircraft. And there's a one and a half windows for every seat row. We really have big displays um, that uh, provides the pilots a, a very good idea of uh, what's going on. Um, obviously, we have flyby wire that is is protect, protecting the you know the flight at all at all at all times, all phases of flight. And um, you know, basically, we were bound by by our own imagination. Basically, um, we we did not have previous requirements for, uh, you know, legacy airplanes. There's still a long way to go. Bombardier must convince more customers to order the C-Series, and ultimately at a price at which it can make money. But the program has clearly come a long way. The gloves are off, and the battle is on. I'm Joe Anselmo for Aviation Week. Six weeks ago, the Embraer 190 E2 made its first flight, and already now it's in Farnborough. It's put on 59 uh, flight hours since then, and uh, 12 hours and 40 minutes of those 59 flight hours it accomplished on the way up here to Farnborough with two stops in between in Recife and uh, Cabo Verde. The aircraft arrived last Thursday and is on display during the show. Obviously the E2 is not a totally new aircraft, but it is a significant evolution of the E1. It's got new wings, uh, the new Pratt & Whitney gear turbofan engines, um, but in spite of all of that heavy uh, in development work, it's ahead of schedule uh, in the flight testing campaign. So it's looking good so far and uh, the plan is for it to enter service in the first half of 2018.